The contenders for the Democratic nomination for president are talking about guns in the wake of the mass shootings. Kimberly Davis is in Fishtown, where New Jersey Senator Cory Booker met with supporters tonight. Kimberly? Yuki, hundreds of people gathered right here inside of the Fillmore for Senator Cory Booker's first presidential campaign event here in Philadelphia. And the senator is hopeful Philly will play a major role in one of the biggest swing states. I believe that there is an interpretation of the Second Amendment that allows people to have guns. I don't think there's any interpretation of the Second Amendment that allows assault rifles. I'm not quite sold yet either. We're kind of here to find out where his stances are, especially on things like health care, gun control. Democratic presidential hopeful Senator Cory Booker is hoping to win over Philadelphia voters. Philly is one of several major cities in key swing states, including Detroit and Milwaukee, where Booker is addressing gun violence and white nationalism. If there is bigotry, if there is hate, it's not enough to say I'm not anti-Semitic. You need to be anti-anti-Semitism. It's not enough to say that I'm not a misogynist. If misogyny exists, you need to be anti-misogyny because there is no neutral. But Booker isn't the only Democratic presidential hopeful addressing gun violence. So is former Vice President Joe Biden, and he revealed some of his own initiatives on the campaign trail in Burlington, Iowa, Wednesday. They'll be banned. And when we do it, we'll put in place a buyback program to get as many as these military-style weapons of war as possible off the street. And we need, we need a domestic terrorism law. Booker says he's got a plan, too, keeping Philadelphia's gun violence in mind. What would your plan be to curb the gun violence here in Philadelphia? I'm going to be a president that recognizes the sense of urgency because for 20 years I've lived in a community that our children are not safe, our communities are not safe, our schools are not safe. Booker also addressed poverty and failing our veterans. He's also for universal background checks. We're live in Fishtown. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kim, thank you.